Hello, it is Sunday, April 14th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Sunday crossword today, which means a big jumbo puzzle uh, with a theme, savings plan. We'll have to find out what that's all about. And I hope it doesn't take us too long to find out because I have less time than usual on Sunday. So I'm going to try and solve this a little more quickly than I ordinarily would. It's a Sunday puzzle, so it's always a bit of a tall order, but we'll see. We'll see if I can if I can manage that. In any case, this hopefully slightly quicker edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. Thank you so much to those four who are benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign and therefore keep this channel going. They support it with their ongoing contributions, and I'm very grateful to them for that. Thank you to those four. Thanks to everybody who's a patron of the channel. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you'd like to join their ranks, you can head to patreon.com slash daily solve, where you can find the bonus videos available to patrons, such as this week's um, mini, puzzle, mini puzzle pseudo speed solve and the latest boss words spring themeless league uh, solve. Those were both fun this week, I thought. And uh, there's also the official mug for benefactors. Uh, thanks again to everybody who does support the channel. Uh, and there's also the Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community you can join. There's a link in the description field. And finally, do consider liking the videos, subscribing, commenting from time to time. Those things all help as well. All right, let's get on to the puzzle, which is a collaboration between a debut constructor, John Ripp, and very much not a debut constructor, Jeff Chen, an extremely experienced New York Times crossword constructor uh, with well over 100 puzzles to his name. And it was edited once again by Joel Faliano. It's entitled Savings Plan. Let's find out why. Let's start solving. First name in 1990s alternative rock. First name. Usually when they say first name, they mean an important name, but also literally a given name, someone's actual first name. I'm not sure offhand. Social media symbols, ats maybe, the at sign. It's very much associated with social media. Enormous Titanic. That sounds good to me. Buck in slang. Um, a dollar maybe. So sob, sawbone or no, I'm thinking of sob buck. What is the... What is the name I'm thinking of that means a dollar? Maybe none, maybe none of the things I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'm not sure. I, I, th I might just be on a completely wrong track here. Oh, before, rear end, e.g. Okay, are there, oh, there are afters as well. I see after here, tiny amount. Okay, so this is, this is related to the theme somehow. Um, we don't yet know how, or at least I certainly don't. Um, okay, well, let's just keep solving. Greek heroine tempted by golden apples. Oh boy, I know this for sure. Greek heroine tempted by golden apples. Oh no, my confu no. I think in my head I'm confusing this with golden apple Was it given to Paris. Oh my goodness, I'm completely mixing up my myths and I can't remember. Salt symbolically. NACL is the chemical symbol for salt. Um, signed. It's it's in ink. You could say the deal is signed. The deal is in ink. It's done. I think that's probably right. Like Troy in the Iliad siege. I mean, Troy is it's the, literally the story of the uh, siege of Troy. Oh, Alanis Morissette is the first name in 1990s alternative rock. And then before coupon stipulation coupon stipulation. And then we have, oh, we have circles, right? I haven't even really been fully taking that into account. Also, we have, so I didn't even notice this either. We have a grid that is symmetrical about its vertical axis, which is uncommon for a daily puzzle, but not particularly uncommon for a themed puzzle, especially a, um, a Sunday grid. So um, there we have it. Just something to note. Probably won't affect the solve particularly. Okay, buck in slang. Maybe this isn't in ink. Maybe this is inked because because the buck could be a smacker. If you say that'll cost five smackers, you could say that's five bucks. So I was on the right track. It's actually quite fortunate for me that these letters worked for the crosses because they didn't necessarily need to, given I was actually wrong with my guess. Anyway. Uh, it's just coincidental that inked and in start with the same letters. Um, under the counter, say, illegal. If you are sort of per performing a task under the counter, you're doing it illegally without, you know, proper record keeping and taxation and so on. Before coupon stipulation. 
Oh, limit one. I guess it could be limit two. But coupon stipulation often says, you know, a coupon that you'd use in a store might say limit one or limit two or limit 10, I guess, in three letters. I guess I technically don't know it's one. Uh, Hagen, who wrote Respect for Acting, Uta, Uta Hagen is a, was an actor, so she would, have, she would have written this, presumably. Oh, Atalanta, Greek heroine. Atalanta, I think that's right. Okay, well, does that work with these? Something you might break into a bank? You break into a bank? Don't know. Could you, I mean, there are probably any number of things you could break into. Basic cable channel. U... Oh, UPN? I think is a, is a U.S. cable channel. So break into... I oh don't know, maybe not. U, oh, USA? That's one as well. So you might break into song. Okay, I think, I think these are right. And then joins a pot antes, so adds money to a to a pot in a gambling context or something. Coupon stipulation, it is limit one. Okay, yeah, I was right about that. And then begin operating before, begin operating effectively. Get a good start or something. Get enjoys a home cooked meal, eats in. There we go. That's right. IRS IDs, uh, social security number, SSN, a U.S. unique identifying number. When golden goals are scored for short. Um, in overtime? get Oh, maybe this is begin operating effectively, get in gear. That sounds plausible to me. So let's try in OT and overtime for scores golden goals. And then mobile platform iOS is Apple's mobile operating system. And then substance originally made with animal fat and wood ash. Suet? I don't know if that's right. I don't think it is. Uh, before, rear end, e.g. Oh, crash into. Oh, okay. So sorry. Let's see. What is this one? Animal fat and what is soot, is it? Don't know. Lytic of the Daily Show. I don't know. Bouncy melody, a lilt. Okay, so Desi. Desi Lytic must be the answer. And then FedEx alternative would be DHL. So they, they're a shipping company. Uh, John Denver's Thank God Blank Country Boy. I mean, it certainly sounds like it would be Thank God I'm a Country Boy. That sounds right. I've probably heard that at one point in my life. Okay, response to Are We There Yet? It's not long? No. It, are we there yet? I don't know. Um, this seems like I should be able to get it, but I can't think. What about this? Substance originally made with animal fat and wood ash. Right, okay. Scoff in Offenbach. Uh, ach, so um, I think this is just, I think this just means, um, sco excuse me, scoff in German. Um, so ach, you might say. Um Oh, soap, soap, of course. Animal fat and wood ash. Of course, soap, animal fat. And that should have been obvious. Okay, well, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, like some ancient Greek poetry. Uh, I can't think what this is. Sorry about that. Home to Millennium Park. Chicago? That sort of sounds right to me. Let's see if that works. I'm not certain, but it sounds right. Are you in or out? Yes, that's right. After military pattern, camo, camouflage. So I really don't know what's going on with the before and after. Two shakes, a sec that, you know, I'll be done in two shakes. I'll be done in a sec, maybe. Um, a bull market, it is not exclamation point. So the exclamation point means we're going, we're sort of declaring this about the answer. Um, China shop, right? Okay. Uh, trying to shop is not a market in which bulls should be welcome. Um, hence the phrase bull in a China shop, uh, to indicate someone ill suited for their environment and sort of un making an ungainly display of themselves. Like some ancient Greek poetry. Oh, sapphic, maybe sapphic poetry. There we go. Um, and she of course would have produced odes, the official form of the New York Times crossword. Existential thread, threat in 2021's Don't Look Up. That was a movie about a uh, comet um, heading to Earth. And then cargo, freight. There we go. So things you're shipping. 
Response to are we there yet? It's not far. Oh, right. Okay. I was close. Psychoanalyst Alfred. I don't know. Will I recognize this? I'm not sure. We'll find out eventually. Bell blank cheese. Oh, bell pays cheese. I'm probably not pronouncing that very well, but uh, this is this is certainly the answer. Pretty sure anyway. Before game with annoying pop ups. Um. Oh, whack em, whack em all. Oh, I can never remember if this is spelled W H A C or W A C K. I think the first way looked better. They both look strange, but. <laughs> This one, I think, oh, whale. Sorry, this says whale in it. Oh, I haven't been reading these. Rhino, oh, these are animals. Tiger. Lion, sorry about that. I completely didn't, I, I didn't realize this at all. I suppose because I've been mainly solving the acrosses and these are these are in downs. Right, okay, so those are the before. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm not sure what that is getting at, but we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Anyway, let's keep going. Hall of Famer QB, John. Oh, John... Elway, that is actually the name of an NHL, NHL player of whom I have heard. So there we go. Good for me. <laughs> Pull out as a win. You could eke out a win and manage to make it. City in San Bernardino County. Um, don't know. Target competitor. Kmart? Oh, yeah, I guess I was wrong with whack-a-mole. Wait, but whale is an animal. No, that can't be right. Yeah, this this has to be it. So what is this? I don't know. AP style book entry that lost its hyphen in 2011. Email. Oh, that would make sense. Um, it's pretty much spelled without a hyphen these days. High fashion initials. YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, the designer. So what is target competitor? Oh, Kohl's. I, right, okay. I don't know if I've ever been to a Kohl's, but it's a, it's a store that exists. City and San Ber and Target is one as well. Sorry if that wasn't obvious. Uh, it's, a, it's a sort of large store in the U.S. store chain. City and San Bernardino County. Oh, Loma Linda. Okay, there we go. That's a that's a Californian city. So one on the links is an ace, I suppose. Like a golf ace. Is that a phrase that's used? I think when I think of the links, I think of a golfer. Turns off, if you turn someone off, you alienate them. So alienates. So group of connected PCs is a LAN, a local area network. And then uh, Alfred Adler. Okay, that's a vague, vaguely familiar. Not surprised that I didn't get it off the bat. Meeting places. Fora, you would sort of meet at a, a for, in a forum for a discussion or something. Um, so fora would be the plural. Carpenter's Curve Cutter. A... I'm sure this will make sense when I see it, but I can't think. Nashville attraction with the the Opry, the Grand Grand Ole Opry, so a music venue in Nashville. Succession family name, the Roy family is the family in succession. And before having physical form, corporeal. So then here we have coral is our is our animal here. Results of an iron deficiency. Um. Question, oh, question mark, right, sorry. Results of an iron deficiency. I'm not, I don't get the, I don't get the pun. We'll have to keep going. Like Constantinople from 1453 to 1922, Ottoman. Um, yeah, the Ottoman Empire, incredibly long-lived. And cardiac conduit, um, an artery, um, you know, pumping blood. Smith, who wrote A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Oh, uh I should know this, but I can't think. That's annoying. Showing embarrassment. If you're showing embarrassment, you're, what, abashed or ashamed or... Uh, I can't think. Results of an iron deficiency. Hmm, I don't know. Carpenter's curve cutter. Oh, a free saw? I'm not certain that's right. Let's try it. Uh, country whose national animal is the elephant. Laos? Is that right? Showing embarrassment. All red. That could be right. So QVC alternative. No, that isn't right. 
a blush. That's better. I like that much more. You're a blush. You're literally blushing. So HSN, Home Shopping Network, that sounds right to me. QVC is one of those television stations from which you can buy items. Okay, results of an iron deficiency. Oh, this is a fret saw. Fret saw, that's better. So Betty Smith, and then, I'm not sure what this is. Member of an elite fighting force. U.S. Marine, that sounds right. Okay, so what is this? Results of an iron deficiency. I might have something wrong. This doesn't, I don't quite understand what's going on here. Creases? Oh, no, that is, that is right. You could have creases in your clothing because you haven't, you don't have an iron with which to press the clothes. Oh, that's very good. That's clever. Before theme park chain, SeaWorld is a aquatic themed theme park. And then Seal, oh, Seal is inside of it. Oh, right. Okay. Well, that actually feels thematically relevant because you could literally see seals at SeaWorld. These others, I don't think have anything. Maybe that's just a coincidence. I don't know. Dust up, a row, sort of an argument. Root is away. App used to track fertility. I'm not sure. Uh, with sickly pallor. Wanly, you, you were wan, so you did it in a wan fashion, wanly. Submitted with TurboTax, e-filed. is um, filed your U.S. taxes electronically. Covering for a pomegranate granite seed. Oh. Oh. This is, this is a botanical word that I should be able to get, and I can't think. Loose item at the bottom of a fast food bag. A fry, a loose French fry. Oh, air, is it Eris? What is this? This is so annoying. Game, oh, maybe it is. Game console that, or Errol maybe. A-R-I-S or A-R-I-L is the word I'm thinking of. Game console that debuted in 2006 as the Nintendo Wii. And then December Temp Worker, a mall. Oh, it's Errol with an L. Okay, I was wrong. Anyway, there we go. Mall Santa, presumably, is the December temporary worker. Wraps up, sews up. Um, suffix with Paul or Marion. Paulette is a name and Marionette is a puppet. After slangy amen, word, so you agree, word. Broadway letters of success, SRO, standing room only. Boy, this is a clue I used to think about. I used to associate with being in the crossword all the time. Don't see it as much anymore. But yeah, it would mean a show is successful because the seating is sold out. So standing room only remains. Swamp creature, informally a gator, an alligator. Uh, Brobdignagian, this is Brobdignagian, this is referring to um, uh, Gulliver's Travels by Jonathan Swift. And the Brobdignags, they, I always forget. So the Lilliputians, Lilliputians were the small ones. I guess the, the Brobdignagians were the giants, I suppose. And then there were the horse creatures. I can't remember what they're called. Oh. Yeah, I can't think. Anyway, I think just based on the fill, these ones must have been the big ones. And I don't remember the names of the other sort of civilizations he visited. All right. Spoke at length. Or orated, I suppose. Yeah. That's annoying that I can't think of the horse ones. It's going to bother me. Um, what were they called? I don't know. Anyway. After target of a facial cleanser, uh, pour, you want to clean your pores, I suppose. Stop on a major tour would be an arena. So you, you maybe you're a music artist and you're stopping at large arenas to play. Back in a way. Um, rev or R-E-W for rewind, rev for reverse. But in a way, it doesn't really mean that. That would be an abbreviation. I don't know. Conked out, you're spent. Oh, Ren, back in a way. What? Feels like I have something wrong here. Conked out, spent. Is that right? I don't know. This this doesn't feel right. Back. Maybe maybe this is wrong. Baldwin, who was the first to play Jack Ryan. It must be Alec Baldwin. Okay, so that's the Tom Clancy character. Um conked out. I don't know what this is. 
that's strange, solar phenomenon, solar flare, solar uh, eclipse, could be. So conked out. This just does not look right at all. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing with this particular clue. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, what about this? I never looked at this. Without much thought, idly. There we go. And then scat syllable would be do. So scat singing, sort of sing, singing with nonsense lyrics, like dooby doo wop, that kind of thing. Um, all right. I guess what I just did was more of a sort of doo wop thing than a scat thing. But anyway, uh, Capone adversary informally T man. So uh, treasury um, agent for the US government. And then. And so Al Capone, the gangsters, who's being referenced there, of course. Basic cable channel. Oh, we have another one of these. Um, TBS is one. There's also TMC, but I don't know if that's basic cable or not. Dirty water inside a ship. Oh, bilge. Bilge water is dirty water in a ship. After a tiny amount. So a tiny amount could be uh, a mite, maybe. Brew, steep to brew tea, for instance, is to steep it in water. And then soccer star blank Morgan, Alex Morgan, maybe? First and second bet. Oh, is this an exacto? I think that's what this is. You you have to get sort of both parts of it correct in order to, to get the exacto bet. I think that's right. This looks like it'll be Epcot. It is. Theme park known for its international food. This is Epcot at Walt Disney World in Florida. I've never been to Walt Disney World or Florida for that matter. But I am aware that this exists and I and originally stood for anyway, experimental prototype community of tomorrow. I don't think it officially does anymore. Martini and blank beverage brand martini and is it Rosso or Rossi? I can't remember, but they make uh, vermouth. From, well, at least that's the I think they probably make other things, but that's the thing that they're, I think, best known for Houston school. I do not know this one. After, like some statues. Maybe this isn't exacto. This this all feels strange. Oh, wait, no. No, Houston, Texas State University. That must be what that is. So Mozart's Cosi Fan Tutti. There we go. That's that's an opera. I definitely know that. So, okay. So like some statues. Oh, they're cast. It must be exacta, not exacto. All right. So I had that wrong. But some statues are cast, you know, cast in bronze or something like that. So... Langston Hughes' poem about racial equality. This is I too. Okay, so um, it's Martini and Rossi, okay, which I didn't quite remember, but there we have it. Outstanding. I'm not sure. What about this? Pinnacle achievement, metaphorically. Um, okay, not seeing these immediately. That's a shame. What about this area? Gas station convenience, an ATM maybe in three letters, and a uh, you know, cash point to take money out could be a convenience at a gas station altogether as a unit. I'm not sure this is right. Web portal with a butterfly logo. No, that's that's MSN, the Microsoft network. I'm pretty sure. And then before now could be a goes and five years ago would be five years before now. So all together as a team, that's it. Okay, great. I was on the right track. Hordes could be throngs. Philip II of Macedon, the father of Alexander the Great. There we go. Or Macedon, depending on how you want to pronounce the Greek. And once popular rug style, a shag, oh, shag carpet was you know very much associated with the 1970s. After, actress Rollins, uh, Gina Rollins, whose name I think is spelled this way, but I'm not 100% certain. Yes, bowed arced, so something curved is bowed or it's arced. And then get down, so to speak, dance. Dancing can be referred to as getting down. And then tiny canvas on which to paint. A toenail, right, is a, is a very tiny canvas, I suppose. Assistant of classic film. Igor, or could even be Igor if it's referring to young Frankenstein. Um, but I think that's probably the answer, referring generally to assistance to Dr. Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein, as I think he's pronounces it in young Frankenstein. Um, 112 across with 114 across conservation law that celebrated its 50th anniversary in December, 2023. Oh, it must be the, oh, it's the Endangered Species Act. Right. Okay. So we, oh, we have endangered species, I suppose. Oh, and I've, oh, sorry. 
I haven't been looking at the afters. What does this mean? Okay, does th did this explain it further? Uh, disappear like circled creatures might do if not for the 112, 114 across. Okay. Go extinct. I still don't quite understand what's going on. Sorry about that if I'm missing something obvious. We'll, we'll come back to it. Extract. To glean information is to extract it. Not fine. If something's not fine, it's coarse. Right, okay. So not fine is in not thin. It's thick and coarse. Monopoly set for short. So the board game Monopoly has a set of four railroads on the board. And then Senator, is it four? I think. Senator uh, Johnny or Joni of Iowa, Ernst, it looks like, would be the answer. And then Pinnacle Achievement metaphorically. Oh, Everest. Oh, oh, embarrassing. I misspelled Cozy Fantuti. Sorry about that. Um, so... Everest is obviously the mountain, but used metaphorically to refer to a high achievement in someone's field, say, you know, the Everest of such and such. Ooze to, if you ooze charm, for instance, you exude charm. And some lineman abbreviation, not sure. This is presumably an NFL clue, but I'm not sure what the answer is. Outstanding. Over something. I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know. Scatterbrained. Ditzy, maybe? Although, I think in American English, you'd spell that with a Z here, so that's probably not right. Oops. Uh, scatterbrained. Could still end with a Y. New blank. I don't know. Solar phenomenon is a solar... I don't know. Before to Shakespeare, ere, before this happened, ere it happened. Sails in a zigzag way. If you, uh, in, a, in a boat, you could tack, um, you know, to the sides to take advantage of the wind, the direction of the wind in order to go the, to ultimately get to where you're going in a zigzag way. Painter Mondrian, uh, is it, P is it Piet Mondrian? Oh, uh, this is embarrassing. What's his name? Uh, screens say... If you screen something, you test it. Okay, it could have been right. Let's see if this works. Solar phenomenon. Oh, sunspot. That's what it is. Okay, great. New Yorker. Okay, so it could be referring to the magazine or just someone from New York. Or, I guess, the New Yorker Hotel. Unlikely in that case. Uh, Cape Colony Settlers. Uh, Cape Colony. Oh, boar. Oh, oh. Okay, this is referring to South Africa, so... The boars, uh, that must be, that must be what it is. And then mission honored by the fallen astronaut lunar memorial, uh, Apollo, um, which one would this have been? In a single Roman numeral, I think just Apollo one, because didn't that, that's this is horrible that I don't immediately know this, but didn't that go wrong? So Let's look at the crosses. After Shakespeare title starter. Oh, all's well that ends well. Um, with a blank to acknowledging. With a nod to acknowledging. How one might bolt upright in in a, on a, something A, probably. Dishes. Oh, blabs. If you dish, if you tell someone, you know, if you sort of spill the tea, as they say, you blab. How one might bolt upright I don't see what this is, sorry. The future of law enforcement, according according to a 1987 movie, is RoboCop, presumably. And then pop-ups can lead to them ad sites. Oh, I see. You click on a pop-up and you're taken to an ad site. Biden's signature 2012 legislation addressing rising prices for short, the Inflation Reduction Act, and the IRA. That's a funny uh, acronym for that. How one might bolt upright. Uh... I don't know why I can't see this. Sushi garnish, roe. So sushi is sometimes garnished with roe fish eggs. In, maybe I, have, I must have something else wrong. Do I? Some UK lords. I think this is going to be MPs. And that's 
explicitly incorrect. You, you, you quite straightforward. If the lords are basically literally the only people in UK society or UK citizens who are not eligible to be lords or not eligible to be MPs, I'm sorry. If you're a lord, you sit in the upper house of parliament and are a lord, but you're not an MP. MPs sit in the House of Commons. I think that's what the I think that's what the answer is, but I but it's wrong. Um, anyway, how one might bolt upright is in alarm. Um, that's really poor. That's a that's a bad answer. Anyway, um, so shows sign of disuse. Rusts right. Okay, something metal could rust. Some lineman abbreviation. I don't know what that is. Scatterbrain. Oh, maybe it is ditzy. Is that is this spelled with an S? I, did, I wouldn't have realized that. Okay. So outstanding is overdue, right? You could have a library book outstanding. It's overdue. Whoops. Overdue. There we go. So then what is this? Some lineman RTs. Okay. I don't know what that stands for. Um, sorry. I should, but I don't. Uh, conked out. Oh, slept. It's, uh, it's not being used as an adjective. It's being used as a, you know, past participle or what have you. So, uh, you know, I have slept. I have conked out. And back in a way is rep. Oh, to rep someone, to back them. Is that what we're looking for? I think that's probably right. So that's it. Okay, well, that, that took a while, but not as long as sometimes Sunday's puzzles do. So I think mission basically accomplished. Now let's look at the uh, theme here. So we have our lion, our tiger, our rhino, our whale. Our coral, our manta. Oh, didn't didn't see manta before. And our seal. So those are the befores. What do the afters mean? I don't quite. Oh, I see what it is. I see what it is. This word, limit one. If the lion goes extinct, we're just left with might. These are the remaining letters here. Right. Okay. Had I realized that, I could have filled in all of these <laughs> immediately. So. Uh, right, get in gear minus tiger is Gina, and crash into minus rhino is cast. Uh, Whack-a-mole minus whale is camo. Uh, corporeal minus coral is poor. Mall Santa minus manta is alls. And finally, Sea World minus seal is word. Uh, sea World minus seal is particularly good. Uh, that's a really nice theme. I like that a lot because, to be honest, I feel you could get away with the theme that was just the bits with the circled um, animals and pretty much call it a theme. I mean, you could you could do that. There are plenty of themes that are that are about that that complex and and no more. And um, but this just adds a nice little extra sort of metaphorical element to it and added a bit of extra challenge for the constructors. But obviously, the grid came together very nicely. So well done to them. That's really nice as a theme. And um, and there we have it. That was our savings plan. Very good. Uh, by John Rip and Jeff Chen. And that was that for the Sunday Puzzle. Thanks for joining me. As always, I'll be back tomorrow for the quicker, easier, uh, smaller Monday crossword. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Sunday. Take care. Uh -huh.